Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you are greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Coach Frenchy. Today, episode number 257. What do you have a new coach today? First of all, the power play is better for the Montreal Canadiens, but why? Secondly, if Manian cannot leave, why not Christian Devorat? And finally, Ab news and update about the injuries and the game between the Montreal and the Devils tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and leave me a comment about this episode. And let's dive in and talk about my first subject of the day. My first subject, guys, I want to talk about today is about the better power play for the Montreal Canadiens since Caulfield is out Here's some stats that we have for you guys at this moment. First of all, before Caulfield injury, shot per 60 minutes, 42.29. Now, since January 21, they are 62.65. Goal four, 5.41 per 60 minutes. Without him, they are right now 8.12. X expectation goes for 6. 16 with Caulfield, and then we have now 8.67 without him. I dangerous scoring chance 16.23 per 60 minute, and now they are 27.84. The last six game disco and fourth friend game, and they are right now 6 and 17. Great performance at the power play, but why? What is happening? Because coffee was pretty good. Here, what happening, guys? First of all, they changed the power play. Saint Mike Madison became the quarterback. Montreal performed better overall on power play, on the puck movement and the transition. Secondly, they add Harvey Pinal. Pinal already scored two of his seven goals on power play, and then Mike Hoffman scored two goals on the power play. And we have better chance of scoring right now with three or four friend players on the ice at the same time. At the same time, we did that. We move Zuzuki the right circle to the left circle. That gave him a better view of what's going on around him. And then we add Kirby Dak from the bumper to the goal line beside Nick Zuzuki. The puck movement is excellent for the Montreal Canadiens. Now, with that, they have a better option when you have those five players without Carfield. They showed on front and goal the puck not only coming for the one timer from Carfield. Now it's coming from Nixky wrist shot, slap shot of Mike Madison. We have some kind of screen in front of net, it tips. And then the one timer, Mike Hoffman. The opening team had to act differently with the new power play for the Montreal Canadiens. They're not only focusing on Cole Carfield one timer. And I think that gave Montreal Canadiens a better way to score. Remember, once Shea Weber and Cole Caulfield is on the ice, power play is a little bit limited. And I think right now you can see the difference because the puck is coming from every angle on the ice. Difficult to cover without Caulfield and Weber on the ice. Nothing again then, by the way. It just gives a better option for the Montreal. So this guy give you another view of what happening for the Montreal Canadiens on the power play. I would like to hear from you guys. What do you think the biggest Major movement for the Montreal Canadiens for the new power play with Madison, Kirby Doc, Mike Hoffman, RHP, and Cole Caulfield. Let's move on now, guys, for my second subject of the day. My second subject, guys, is about why not Christian Devarak? Well, here we go. First of all, bad news about Sean Manian. It looked like he had a setback again for the third time. And why not to have another option with Christian Devarak? Here's the reason why we said to you. First of all, Devarak have a two more year at $4.5 million. He can play second line and he can play third line easily for any team in NHL. He has right now 23 points and 56 games with nine goals. So coach, not a lot. But his month of February, all, all the data analytics, scoring chain, expected goal for shooting, sharing is higher for Devorak. This is his best month. So we can see a little bit more the offensive on his game in the last couple of games. The detail of the game is really what Christian Devorak is. He's really smart hockey players. He understands he read and anticipate very well the play. He's really great on the face-off. Percentage is over 52%. And then he can play on special team on power play, and he can play on the PK. When you get the direct, you get a package deal very well from 
this player. Then I want to finish with this. Why not trade him now? Because we have Kirby Doc. I feel like Sean Manin, if nothing happening, we could see a Manin sign a short term contract with Montreal Canadian. And then they have other players. Jake Evans, possible Owen Beck, and Benzel can cover spot number three or four if Manian does not sign with the Montreal Canadiens. So overall, losing Christian de Varek, it's not like a huge problem for the, fill up the spot of center with the Montreal Canadiens in the future. So let me a comment, guys. What do you think about my option to trade Christian de Varek? Would you like the Montreal have a chance to trade or not Christian de Varek? Let's move on, guys, for my last subject of the day. My last subject of the day, guys, about the Montreal Canadian update in use around the team. Let's talk about the injuries. Now we have 10 plus injuries. Manion set back. Manion after he skated on the road with the Montreal Canadian. Yesterday, Monday, Manion did not show up on the ice. Martin said we talked this on the weekend. Manion plateaued. Possibly now if we have another setback. We don't expect him to be on the road until Friday. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to play Saturday. So that's waste another week. I don't see him to get trade at the end of the day. Then the good news, Kenan Cooley is back on the ice, uh, but with a no contact jersey. So he's getting closer. We expect him uh, to be ready for the beginning of March. Uh, we'll be see what he looked like for the next couple of weeks, but expect him to return just at the Time for the trade deadline, I believe, when the Montreal Canadian is going to be on the road uh, on the West Coast trip in USA. Whiteman is the new player with a, on ER with a number of body. That's complete with 10 players. Then Emerson skating alone. Still doing all the kind of inside skating, outside skating, edge work alone at this moment. So we don't know him when he's going to return with the Montreal Canadian. This concludes guys, all the injuries we have for you. Update uh, for the Montreal Canadian. Now... I want to talk about Martin St. Louis a little bit. Martin St. Louis, again, the Carolina Hurricane last week, get upset. After Montreal Canadiens gave three goals and less of three minutes, we saw Martin St. Louis ask a timeout. Usually, Martin St. Louis is very calm behind the bench. And with some kind of aggressivity and <laughs> some kind of behavior we don't expect, Martin St. Louis screamed to the player, Do your job! Do your job! That's it, that's all. He was upset the win Montreal did not do well. We know that night, that enough, Kovacevic and Whiteman, minus four. And then we got Drouin at minus three. So he repeat three times, do your job. It's rare we see uh, Martin St. Louis this way behind the bench. So I just want to share with you what happened with him. If the lucky charm with Chris Whiteman's son. What? Whiteman, his son now is a little bit over one year. Come to the hockey game when Montreal play at home. Go to the game at the Bell Center. Montreal is 6-0-0 with him in the building. Here we go. You know the news now. Hopefully, he's going to be back when Montreal are returned Saturday night again Ottawa Senator. It's really opposite when the Montreal wear the blue jersey. They are 1-6-1. One, one. Finally, my last news of the day, guys, about the Montreal Canadian play against the New Jersey Devils at 7 o'clock at p.m. We invite you to join me live on the play-by-play -play commentary. Look like uh, Samuel Montembeau returned between the pipe for the Montreal Canadian. We know he played last game against the Carolina Hurricane, won the last but the score 5-2. to two. And... We have Corey Shenemann return again for a second game back-to-back -back with the Montreal Canadian. Send Chris Whiteman is out with a number of body. That's pretty much what we have. Otherwise, it's the same roster like Martin St. Louis used again the Toronto Maple Leaf last Saturday. If any comments you want to talk about the app update, maybe about injury, please leave me a comment. I would like to hear from you. Definitely, I will reply for each of your comments. Here we go, guys. This episode 257 is done. Hopefully you enjoy it. We talked today about the power play. It looked better for the Montreal Canadian. Possible Christian Devark become an option for a trade at the trade deadline. Finally, some news and update for the Montreal Canadian. Before we leave, we want to remind you, don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe to the Akinishi Live Show, and leave me a comment about this episode. And of course, I want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, blessing day, everybody.